the amount of waste, when you go back and see, offered going through, we believe we have the data to help those small businesses that need it to be able to stay open and go. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you guys have a great day. Here's your Forts to Must Check updates and news report. Folks, we have a lot of these to discuss in today's video. Trillion dollars, they have now decided that they want to balance the budget on the backs of the elderly and the children and the most vulnerable people in this country. They want to cut Social Security, Medicare and Medicaid. My view, and we've introduced legislation to do this, is that not only are we going to stop them cutting Social Security, we are going to expand Social Security. And Republican senators, folks, plan to announce a new counteroffer on infrastructure spending on Thursday. That is after the White House last week unveiled a slimmed down alternative to President Biden's original massive proposal. I just want to take this opportunity to congratulate Social Security Works for all of their efforts in making sure that we are not going to cut Social Security and in fact we're going to expand benefits for the millions of people who desperately need it. Their new offer comes in at around $1 trillion, which Republicans say is the minimum amount that Biden has said he'd accept for an infrastructure bill. And they propose paying for it by repurposing unused funds from previously approved crisis relief measures. But a separate bipartisan group of senators is also working on another proposal as negotiations continue. With the president several weeks ago, and I talked with him even previous to that. We believe that this counteroffer delivers on what President Biden told us in the Oval Office that day. And that is uh, to try to reach somewhere near a trillion dollars over an eight-year period of time that would include our baseline spending. Uh, we have achieved that goal with this counteroffer. But we've also, I think, done something that um, has stayed true to what our beliefs are when we very first started this um, this endeavor and that is sticking to the core physical infrastructure what is the definition of infrastructure gop senator shelley moore capito of west virginia who has spearheaded infrastructure negotiations told reporters that republicans felt that president biden would support a one trillion dollar bill over eight years after meeting with him at the white house early this month senator capito said on wednesday he basically left us with the impression that he understood that we did not. I'm not saying he agreed with this, but that he understood what's going on. Now folks, Joe Biden did propose paying for a larger infrastructure bill by raising the corporate tax rate to 28%. And that's something the Republicans oppose. The White House proposed a $1.7 trillion counteroffer on infrastructure to Senate Republicans last week, roughly half a billion dollars less than Biden's initial $2.3 trillion proposal. But Republicans say the most recent offer still includes provisions that they do not consider to be related to traditional infrastructure needs. Another round of $1,400 stimulus checks was just sent out, and more than half Americans in the country support the move of some states to end the $300 weekly supplement to unemployment benefits months before it officially expires. What are your thoughts on this, everybody? Should the unemployment benefits come to an end? And do you believe that it's going to benefit your state? Leave a comment down below, everybody, saying yes or no. For millions of Americans, Social Security is a lifeline. Nearly two-thirds of all seniors depend on it for most of their income. It keeps 15 million people out of poverty. And for millions of people who suffer accidents, who get sick, Social Security disability insurance is there when they need it. Now according to the IRS, more than 1.8 million stimulus checks were dispersed in the last two weeks. Can I afford? Can I afford to give my family a good life? Will my kids have a chance to get a good job someday? How will I rebuild from the fire or the storm? You know, all of these questions, they're not partisan, but they're practical. People you look to are you. They're the people you look that they look to, or you, for real. You know there's no way to walk into the corner drugstore without being accosted immediately as to what's going on, right? <laughs> Well, so you know what it means to solve real problems, to be held accountable for the people you serve. That's why when I put together my cabinet, I called on former mayors, 